All right, I got all the way across needle number two, which is the instep or the front of the sock needle. And now I'm going to pick up two stitches in this corner. I'm going to put them on needle number two. All right, so here's a good candidate, I think. And how about here? And if you decide um, after you've done the whole heel uh, that your corners are not looking so good, you can use your uh, the tails of your yarn to neaten those corners up. So don't worry about it too much. All right, now I have I do have two extra stitches on needle number two, and I'll show you uh, how I'm going to deal with that uh, in a moment. Oh boy, I'm really tangled here. And now I'm going to knit needle number three. There are 15 stitches here. And finishing needle number three will get me to the beginning of the round, which is uh, at the, the bottom middle of the sock, uh, what would be right underneath uh, your foot running down the middle of the sole if you were wearing this. So here we are back at needle number one. Um, and what I'm going to do to take care of the extra stitches on needle number two is I'm going to just knit needle number one, do the decreases on needle number two at both sides, and just knit needle number three. And that will get us back to 30 stitches bottom of foot, 30 stitches top of foot. Okay, good. That was 15 stitches, which is what I was expecting. It's not such a bad idea to count, I guess, <laughs> to make sure you're on track. And now decrease right at the beginning here. It's a slip slip knit. Oops. Which is really awkward right at the beginning. That's how the pattern is written. Um, generally speaking, when I make socks, I put a stitch before those decreases or after those decreases, depending on how they fall on the needle. You can certainly do that if, uh, if you find it annoying to have to do the decrease right at the beginning and the end of a needle. It's easier at the end, I think, but um, doing the decrease right over those first two stitches is not the greatest. All right, I'm almost there. There we go, two stitches left, knit two together. And now I move on to needle number three and I'm just gonna knit that. And then after this, after needle number three is done, <clears throat> excuse me, then you're on your, um, you're starting your kind of regular repeat of a round with no decreases interspersed by a round with decreases uh, at the end of needle number one beginning and end of needle number two, beginning of needle number three.